What is up everyone? I'm excited for this video. It's just going to be a low key vloggy style where I'm going to share what I'm packing for Disney, what I am packing for myself, but then also what I'm packing for my three-year-old toddler. And if you are just like stumbling upon this video, my husband's a Disney travel agent. So we do go to Disney a lot and she has gone to Disney a lot and she absolutely loves it. And she's finally at an age where like she gets it and it makes it so much more exciting. But because we have traveled to Disney a lot and traveled with her specifically, we have a lot of like specific things we usually bring on any trip, not just Disney, that I thought would be maybe be helpful. I know like for me, I watch a lot of these kinds of videos when I'm packing because I, A, I'm a nerd and I just find it enjoyable, but I always learn something new, whether it's like a specific item people bring maybe to entertain the kid or whatever, or just specific like things to think about when you're traveling with them. So that, but then also I will share what I'm packing. If you are, maybe you don't have a kid, you're not traveling with kids, whatever, and you're not interested in this part, I will put a timestamp down below for you to skip to if you would like to just watch the like adult what I'm bringing to Disney, because I understand that too. That's all, I need to go make some coffee because I'm, I'm just, I can feel it in my bones. I only had like this much coffee this morning and it's been a busy day already. I'll fill you in in a second, but yeah. Coffee first. <laughs> mug cute I got it in Disney I want to say a couple of years ago during this time of year and it is just adorable the back size says brewing up a terrific time <laughs> oh yeah so we leave tomorrow morning so I have a couple of hours here just about three hours to kind of get all of this squared away because once Genevieve gets back and the wheel starts turning, you know, you're like on the hamster wheel. I'm not gonna be able to get much done tonight. When we leave tomorrow, our flight is like kind of midday. So we do have a little bit of time in the morning, which is always nice. We can eat breakfast here, kind of take our time, make sure, you know, all of our P's and Q's or no, 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 all of our I's are done. <laughs> These are cross. I don't know. Anyway, so that'll be nice to kind of have that little bit of padding, but I'd rather just get it all done today while I have like the quiet focus time. So that is the goal. Let me show you what I've got going on for her right now. So I've got all of my piles. I don't always like lay it out like this. I really am just doing this so I can show you, but especially with the outfits, which I'll show you in a second, it's nice to kind of be able to see everything as it is. And a lot of times with those, I will lay them out and take a picture of it. That way I can kind of reference like, what was I planning on putting this shirt with? So one thing I'm always guilty of is bringing too many pajamas. The room that we are staying in, the hotel room, has a washer and dryer in it, which in Disney, that is not always the case, but the room we're doing does have it, which is a game changer because I feel like with certain things, I can get away with packing a lot less because I know I'm gonna be able to wash them in between, which is just nice. Outfit wise, I pretty much pair two tops or dresses with every pair of shorts. 70 is the low in the evening. So it's really gonna be warm the whole trip. And so I'm mostly just packing short sleeves and shorts. So some of them have a couple of options with them, which is nice. I do have, since we're gonna be there for part of October, I do have some like cute kind of Halloween-y things that I picked up. Like this is from, I literally found this at the grocery store. It was so cute. This top from H&M. Things that I've already had, I buy a lot of Target Disney items, you know, but this pile here actually is her travel outfit for tomorrow, just something nice and comfy. And then an extra outfit and a wet bag. I highly recommend, please trust me, I've learned this the hard way. <laughs> Bring some kind of bag that can handle wet clothes. If you search Amazon for wet bags, you will find a million options. They're not expensive. Most of them, you can get like two of them, but it's nice that this has two separate pockets. And so what I'll typically do is put her extra outfit or two in here safe so if anything spills the outfit doesn't get wet and i'll put like an extra pair of socks and um, underwear in there too but by doing that you make sure these stay dry but then also you have a bag to put like wet or dirty clothes in if she does have an accident or spill something on her that is a godsend to have i might even put especially if it were a longer flight i would put two outfits in there I might even just still, it's only a two hour flight for us, but it's just better to have it, especially if like something happened to your luggage and you needed it. So that's kind of what that is there. But other outfit wise, I got a lot of these on Etsy. That's definitely a favorite place to buy cute Disney things that are a little different and usually a little bit cheaper than what you can actually find in Disney Disney. Also, Disney World doesn't have a lot of baby and toddler clothing options. They do have some that are really cute, but not a ton. So it's just something to be aware of. This was from Etsy. I'll try to link what I can 
This one I recently bought. So cute, a little dress for this time of year. Got some other just outfits. This one's from Etsy. Here's the thing though. I don't know if I'm gonna have her wear it because you guys are gonna laugh. I saw this in an adult size and they sold it in all sizes, adults, kids, toddlers. And when I kind of glance at it, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. But do you see what I see that's maybe a little weird <laughs> to have on a kid's shirt? Yeah wine and beer so i'm gonna bring it maybe i'll just have her like sleep in it because i just feel weird about i don't know so there's that <laughs> that was on me i did not look closely enough but some other cute disney things etsy etsy so these are two princess dresses i let her pick she's got you know a little drawer of like kind of they're technically pj dresses they're super like soft and comfy we typically buy them on amazon but i let her pick out two because i thought she can wear these as her outfit with like one of those pairs of shorts underneath we've got a moana one and rapunzel that's what she picked out but she could also just wear them over her clothes if she wants that's what she does here when she's just playing dress up but i thought well when in disney i mean what a better time to do that so another thing because it could get a little chillier in the evening not cold but a little chilly i do have a pair of pants a long sleeve shirt that has got elsa on it i got it Target and this cute little cardigan. I got at H and M. How cute is that? Oh my gosh! That's something we can bring with us in the stroller. And so if she gets chilly in the evening, if we're out, we'll just have it. We can toss it on her. But that's pretty much that. I have a sun hat for when we go to the swimming pool and even when we're in the parks. This is my favorite one. And what's nice is you can kind of tighten it on their head. They have all different colors. Amazon, I can link. And then some goggles. I don't know if she'll actually want them. But um, she has used them like in swim lessons, so I figure might as well bring them. This rain jacket has been one of the best purchases I've ever made because it packs right into the hood of it. But it's this brand called Therm, and it's super thin and lightweight, which is nice because it rains in Florida all the time, but it still remains super hot and sticky. So to have a really lightweight rain jacket for her is perfect. Like it's big enough that if she's wearing something thicker underneath it, which is not often there, but even like here where we live in the Midwest, she can still fit it on, it's a little bit looser. So I love that it's super packable, super lightweight, it's perfect. And then I just kind of roll it up and just kind of stick it in the hood. All right, so I'm bringing mostly reusable swim diapers. And again, that goes back to the fact that we have the washer and dryer in the hotel room. If we didn't, I would only pack these because it's too difficult to try to like wash them in between. I know you could just rinse them, but you know, things go wrong and I'd rather just be able to wash them. But most other trips where we don't, I just bring enough of these little swimmers or I'll order them like in our grocery order. But I'm bringing a couple backups just in case. But yeah, that's what I've got. And then two of the little ruffle butt swimsuits. These are my favorite. We have learned she freaks out when it's like a swimsuit that you have to put on that like doesn't have enough give because they're all elastic, but I can only get on her the kind that have a zipper near the top. So it's big enough to get over her noggin because she just freaks out otherwise. So... And I kind of understand I'm kind of the same way with stuff like that. Like if I feel stuck in a shirt, I freak out. So two of those, we like bringing two swimsuits for her and same for us. We swim pretty much every day we're there in the middle of the day when it's the hottest. And it's nice to have one that you know is dry because if the other one's still hanging from the day before and maybe it's still damp, it's just nice to have a second one. So that's what we've got there. Amazon again for those. I've got this cute thing I got at Target that's like a little towel dress for after the pool because you know you get in the hotel and as you're walking in it's super cold so we just throw that on her and she loves it then we've got some swimming shoes these little native sandals i know they're dirty but they're super comfy on her and she can walk in them for a while and then these h m tennis shoes she's been i just recently got but she's been breaking in and she i keep asking her like honey are those comfortable they look really comfy and she's like, yeah. And she's been walking a lot in them and no like blisters. So my fingers are crossed that these will be good. And then these little Bomba slipper socks for her because I am someone, and we'll talk about this more later in the video. I'm someone that I, I have to have something on my feet at a hotel because the idea of walking, no matter how clean it may be, just straight on the floor with bare feet grosses me out. So I bring these for her too, in case she wants them. And then we have her little ears. We bought her when she was much younger and they should fit her head perfectly now. And so that's just fun to bring. She can wear for a little bit at Magic Kingdom maybe. This is where things get a little interesting. This is an old Vera Bradley makeup bag that has Mickey's on it. I bought it at Disney years ago. So now I use it for her undergarments and socks. So that's what's in there, which is nice to just have them kind of corralled and out of the way. This little makeup bag thing I've had for a while, I've got her masks in. I have a couple you'll see in our carry-on for her, but a couple extra masks, her sunglasses, and then all of the rest that's in here are hair stuff. So bows, 
little pins, ponytail holders, you know, her hair is wild. So we like actually have to like do something to it or else it will be all over the place. And so it's nice to have a lot of different options for that. I thought about not bringing this, but she's been using one of these every day while she just kind of plays pretend. And since we've got some princess dresses, I thought it's not gonna take up that much room and she's gonna be so happy to have her little $1 princess wand, you know? This is a little bag we bought, she picked out at the store a year ago and some pins she has that she picked out on previous trips. We decided, cause she likes carrying it around, it's just gonna have her toys for the plane. So I'll carry in my carry-on our snacks and like a water bottle and those kinds of things and like her iPad but the rest of it is gonna be in here, her little toys. So she actually has not seen in here. This is full of surprises. So I've got some crayons I just put in this little bag. If you are the lovely one that sends me these, I love them. I can never remember the name of your shop. I'm so sorry. So I will link it below. If you contact me, I'll throw it in the description box. But these really cute Disney bags, all different sizes. So I put some crayons in there. We've got some, I got a little Pez dispenser. She loves these little surprises where you open it and there's something little inside and we don't buy them for her in like normal times. So for a trip, it's something special she can look forward to opening on the plane. We've got Got a little water wow thing. These are incredible. We own a couple. You fill this with water. I usually empty it out and I fill it once we get past security or you could fill it and put it in your clear bag. It's really not that deep. I have a feeling you could probably, I don't know. I feel like stuff like this sometimes with kids toys, they might not be as strict with, but you also never know. So I like to play it safe. Uh, I also got this on Etsy, this little I spy thing where you can pick the fabric they make it with. And there's all these different little toys in here that she can look for. And then she can use this as like kind of the key to see if she can find the stuff. She was playing with it the other day and she loved it. So she said, I wanna bring that to Disney. I just printed out, I used to bring like whole coloring books. She's not big on coloring, but I thought we'd try this on the plane. These little color by numbers I just printed for free online, a Mickey and a Halloween one. And then I just folded them in half. I'm like, that's easy. And then when we're done with them, they're not taking up a ton of room. I originally had a full on coloring book and I still have it up there. I might put in like the luggage for the hotel. We'll see. I have some stickers for her to play with. She can put on the back of those papers if she wants. I have a couple of books for her. Some are new, some are not. These I like because they're small. They're super thin. I used to bring a lot of books and I realized like she loves books and she'll look at them and we'll read them but I would bring you guys are gonna laugh at me like 10 books <laughs> that's too many so I've got just like four of them that's plenty this little stylus for her tablet that she can do like there's certain like writing letters and tracing games she plays on there and that is pretty much it those are definitely highly recommended little travel toys to think about bringing so we also are going to bring her stroller and we just gate check it because it's just nice to have our own stroller. You can rent them in Disney, and I think when she's a little older, we might. But for this age, it's just nice to have what we need and have our stroller. So I have this stroller shield. It's actually a new one that's really cute. I also had bought this for her as like a travel bunny because it lights up. So it serves as like a little lovey, but it's also a night light. And it was super cheap on Amazon and it's so cool. And we've, you know, had to replace the batteries once or twice, but it auto shuts off, I think after like 20 minutes. And so it's a perfect little travel night light type thing. We always bring her blankie. It's just nice to have one from home and it doesn't take up a ton of room. This is actually, I have to show this to you. This is a travel toilet seat. And we don't bring this with us because she does okay on the potty. She is potty trained except for like at night. You'll see we've got some pull-ups for her for nighttime. But we figured to have in the hotel room because we do use like, you know, a standard little kid seat on the toilet here at home. So we thought it might be nice to have this at the hotel. We're not gonna bring it to the parks with us because again, we can just kind of hold her on it and she does just fine. But something to know that exists and then it just folds up. How cool is that? This bad boy we've had for a couple years now. I do want to bring extra batteries for this because she's been using it a lot at home, even though we have like a hatch that she uses. She just, it's like a toy to her. So I do want to bring extra batteries. Of course, you can always buy batteries at Disney. If something, you know, ran out, it's never that big of a deal, but it plays white noise. You can turn the volume up and down. You can have it on all night or you can have it like on a timer to go off. There's a heartbeat noise. There's a lullaby that she loves. So this has been awesome. Plus you can just hang it on something. We have a ton of pull-ups for, not a ton, but enough for each night plus an extra one or two. Then I'm gonna spread out our toiletries that we have so we, I can kind of show you everything. All right, so I've got her toiletries here. I finally gotten this down pretty much to a science because I used to bring way more than I needed. I love this, the Johnson's head to toe that we can use as 
body wash and shampoo. It's just easy, it works for her. So it's just nice to have and then I don't need a separate shampoo and body wash. I always need a lotion for her. This Aveeno one is really good. We'll be bringing full size sunscreens cause we go through it like crazy while we're there. But I like to have a small one in here just in case. Plus a lot of times I'll just stick this one in our stroller for day to day. So if we need to do quick little reapplications, we have it. Got Aquaphor, works as lip balm, but also as like if she gets any types of rashes or anything. Got her toothpaste, little toothbrush, thermometer, nail clippers, uh, something for if she gets a fever, this is Motrin. I've got some wipes if we need them, just like regular wipes, but then also wet ones. I have two of each of these. One of them will be in the carry-on, you'll see, and then these are just extras I'm gonna be bringing for when those inevitably run out. Got little bags for anything we need them for. This is some powder we sometimes put in her juice that her doctor tells us to, it helps her uh, stay regular. <laughs> this is amazing. You can get them on Amazon and you literally put your phone on it and it's like kind of like a pop socket, but you don't have to leave it on there. It's just like a little suction and you can put it on the table. And so like if we're at a restaurant and she's getting kind of fussy and she's already eaten and we're just trying to like have an adult conversation, we'll stick our phone on here and then it'll just kind of hold it up really safely. We have two of these. I always have one in here and then I keep one in my purse just to have with us. But this is like if I lose that one, cause these would be easy to lose. And I'm pretty sure you get them like for super cheap on Amazon for like a freaking six pack. So we have a million of them. And then I always bring extra Ziplocs, different sizes, and I just have them in a Ziploc. Really nice to have, not just for her, but for all of us. You never know when you're gonna need one. So yeah, that's what's in there. You're speaking my love language. So some other little things I like to bring that I'll pack in her suitcase for like a surprise at the hotel would be like, this is a Disney Dorables. I don't think I've ever bought this before. But again, like little surprise toys for her. I have another one in there. And these little Play-Doh things she likes to play with and I'll show you why I'm bringing them. But Play-Doh is something that I feel like is oft overlooked for travel. But you know what? She spends a lot of time playing with Play-Doh. So that is nice. These little squishy things I got in like a freaking 40 pack on Amazon. If I'm being quite candid, sometimes I use them to con her into doing what I want. <laughs> so these I found on Etsy. I'm just bringing one of the ones I bought. They're so cute. So this is the orange one. They have different colors and they're each a different activity. So this is like you make a little cookie with it. So it says peanut butter recipe. You get a round cookie, round frosting and colored sprinkles. So then in here, there are these little things that are supposed to be the cookies. And then you'd put the frosting it asked for on it. And then there are these little pieces that are supposed to be the sprinkles that are just so cute. So I'm like, it's just a cute little activity. I thought about bringing it on the plane, but then I was like, you know what? All of those little pieces are gonna end up like flying all over the place. So this would be more of a hotel friendly one. But again, it takes up like no room. I printed out and then laminated these little Play-Doh mats. I made some like Disney specific ones so she can use the Play-Doh to make like little eyes and a face. And then these I can link below where I found them. They were free from, oh, there we go, the Aloha Hut. So she can make a little meal out of Play-Doh, a little face, and then like decorate a cake. So just fun. She's been doing these, but we have some like pumpkin-y ones here. And I thought she might enjoy some like different ones. And then, like I said, I have this coloring book. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to bring it or not. Maybe I'll kind of decide based on the... Uh, amount of room I have in the suitcase but you know we already have the crayons and she does like to color a bit it's just not her favorite activity but just something to do in the hotel when we're getting ready and she's kind of bored you know but yeah so those are going to go in her suitcase as kind of a surprise so she won't see them until we get there so the other thing for her that I'm going to bring are like a couple of snacks for the plane and a water bottle and the one we're using is my favorite so I do want to show you guys that one because it keeps her water or milk or whatever cold for a long time. That's pretty much it for her. I'm sure I'll think of a couple other things that like the day of I'll have to pack because we like use them on a daily basis. But generally that's it. I know I was maybe like maybe too thorough. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's what we've got going on. I'll show you the snacks and stuff and then we'll switch over and I'll show you what I'm bringing. Also earlier I was eating a muffin <laughs> and they're ones my mom makes and they're so good. And I was like, mom, the next time you make those, please just double it and I'll take the other half. I can link the recipe below though because they're crazy good and they're crazy healthy, but I put butter all over them, you know, to add to the health factor. Got butter, oh, can you see it? Yeah, all over my shirt. I'm like, of course, like first bite just dropped right on me. All right, so this is the water bottle we're bringing. It's the Thermos brand and I like that you can hold it like this or hang it on something. We have like little carabiner clips, like giant ones that we have on both sides of our stroller to hang whatever from. And so it's nice that we can hang that, but it's got the straw, it closes, 
And then it of course has the straw in there. It keeps stuff cold for so long. And when you're going somewhere super hot, it's just nice to know that this is still gonna be cold. It's great for airplanes too, but I always bring suckers. <laughs> she just loves them and it's kind of a nice treat. Like if she was really good, it's usually while we're in a restaurant because while we're out and about, she's having fun, we're doing stuff. But you know, kids get antsy at restaurants. And so that's usually when I'm like, all right, honey, you know, if you eat a few more bites, blah, 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 afterwards, maybe we can have a sucker. So those are awesome. And then I'm bringing these snacks. We are ordering groceries for the actual plane. No, 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 what? For the hotel, I'm losing it, y'all. And so these are just enough to kind of tide us over for the day until we get those, but we're not gonna get the groceries till like later at night. So just a couple of things I figured would travel easily and I know that she likes. We got a little thing of goldfish, uh, fruit snack, this little like applesauce type pouch. This I will need to put in my uh, carry on like clear bag. That is something to be aware of. And then just a couple of bars that I know she likes. So that should be good. And then of course we can eat while we're there, but she is super picky toddler. It's super fun. So these will go in my carry on to carry with us. I might throw like a cliff bar or two in there as well for me and Tyler if we get snacky. But yeah, that's it. I used to bring a lot more, but trying to be better about that. Also, I'm about to make a quick lunch and uh, watch some Parks and Rec. <laughs> but I wanted to mention that if you do like Disney stuff, like Disney vlogs, Disney content, we do Disney vlogs over there on his channel. So we'll definitely be vlogging this trip. And actually our last trip a while ago, we vlogged it and the last ones just went up. So if you don't, you can watch that trip from the beginning to the end, which is fun. And so then we'll be vlogging this one and those will be coming up soon on his channel too. We've got a Disney haul coming up soon. So definitely go subscribe over there if you're into that kind of thing. If you are into like makeup and like regular life vlogs and those kinds of things, that's what I do here on my channel. If you want to subscribe, shameless plug. But yeah, I'm gonna make some, we have two boiled eggs I want to use up before we leave. So I was like, I know what I can do with, do with those. I can make egg salad and have like an egg salad wrap and some blueberries we need to use up. So that is the plan. And then I really need to finish up my packing and show that to you guys. <laughs> So here's a little sneak peek at kind of what I've got going on clothing wise for me. The high is like 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be nice and warm, but it's certainly been hotter when I've gone. Either way, I'm gonna want like shorts or dresses and either tanks or like short sleeves. So I have a couple of dresses here. These two are like shorter, like to the knee. This one's a little bit longer, like if I wanted to wear it in the evening or just on a day that's maybe not quite as hot from Target. These are all like spaghetti strap tank top type items that can kind of be mixed and matched with some of my shorts here. Same with these, just a couple of tops, but these are all short sleeve, clearly like floral. <laughs> and then I've got like this skort, I don't think they sell it anymore, but I love these because, you know, they're literally like shorts, but they look like a little skirt. So they're like comfy to wear. I got it from uh, Boohoo for really cheap, but I don't know if they sell this exact one anymore. I'll find something similar and link it. And then I just have a couple of pairs of jean shorts and some leggings. That's literally it. Again, I can wash these, kind of mix and match with them if I want. I have a workout outfit as well that can double as like, I could wear this to the park as well. And these are like the most comfortable bicycle shorts that I would totally wear like with, you know, I mean, maybe not any of these, but like some of them would look totally cute with it. And they're so comfy. So they're from American Eagle. I can link them because I want to say they're around 20 bucks. I've already bought another pair because they are my absolute favorite. And then this Disney State of Mind shirt I got at Disney. Then I just have two sets of PJs, just like two super comfy PJ pants. And then this kind of Disney shirt I bought on Etsy a few years ago. And then this one I actually wore on the trip last time. And again, it's working as a PJ shirt this time, but it would work to wear in the park. Same goes for this. So it's kind of nice to have just multiple options. I bought this oversized sweatshirt this year from an Etsy shop. I will link the shop down below. Actually, it might've been from their actual site, not from Etsy. Regardless, it's just too cute. I love it so much. So that I'm definitely gonna bring. I don't know that I'll need it, but I like having like a sweatshirt on, especially like in the hotel. So I'll be glad to have it. And then this is my travel day outfit. I'm just bringing these black joggers. These were kind of pricey. I'm literally wearing a pair of gray ones today as well. Same exact brand because they're my favorite. They're like the most comfortable things I own other than leggings. So that and this shirt I got at Uniqlo a couple years ago will be my travel outfit for tomorrow. All right, shoe wise, this may seem like overkill to some of you. This is the perfect 
amount of shoes for a Disney trip for me. These are like my running shoes, but I wear them a lot of days as well because they are the most comfortable shoes I own. And you know, you stand, you walk a lot. So I always wanna make sure I have these. These I use, they take up virtually no room, but I use them for when we go to the pool. These are like slightly dressier, but like really simple sandals. So like with the dresses, I'll wear these. Sometimes I'll just wear them with shorts too. But again, they take up virtually no room, but they're super comfy. These white Nikes are one of my favorites ever. I love wearing these with just like dresses as well. Like those dresses, it's just cute. But then again, they also work really well with everything else. So I can kind of mix and match. And the nice thing is, one of my biggest recommendations for Disney is bring at least a couple of shoes because if you get blisters from one, it's nice to have another option. And of course, I'll probably wear these on the plane. And so the only thing I'm really packing is these and then these two take up virtually no room. So I can fit them all in one shoe box or shoe bag, I should say, and stick them in my suitcase. Another thing I'm considering is bringing some slippers. And I know that sounds like a lot to some of you guys, but I told you I'm like so freaked out by like being in bare feet in a hotel. It just grosses me out. So, I mean, obviously most of the time I would just wear socks or I'll bring like those thick slipper socks and just wash them every couple days. But I'm like, you know, those slippers right there fold down to like really small. So I'm like, I might be able to fit those bad boys in with my shoes. So we'll see if I actually bring them or not, but I'm thinking about it. Guys, all my makeup is worn off like everywhere. <laughs> You're seeing me on a day that is like, I feel like, I don't know, like scatterbrain. Like I'm trying to get everything done, but like, I'm like, okay, Jessica, focus. Let's get this one thing. You guys aren't seeing all the behind the scenes between these clips. I just feel crazy today, that's all. All right, so I've got this bad boy right here. This is actually new to me. I bought it from Mark and Graham online and I got it like engraved or whatever you call that with my initials. And I just think it is so pretty. And the coolest thing is it's a hanging organizer. So I've tried a couple of like hanging organizers in my life and I've never been like 100% satisfied with them. And like the one or two I tried that I actually really like always ended up breaking. So um, I just fell in love with it. I think they have like a navy blue one as well, but when you open it, it's just so simple. I love that I can fit absolutely everything I need in it and yet there's still like room. So if I bought a new skincare item while I was there or new perfume, I don't know, I would still be able to fit it in here that much I like. I think there may be one or two things I haven't put in here yet, but for the most part, this is everything. So up here, I just have this little container that I have hair things in. So hair ties, little cute pins, but then also just like bobby pins and stuff all kind of wrangled together. This I just bought on Amazon before this trip because I wanted a little nail kit that like actually stayed together. I had a small one for travel, but everything kept falling out of it because it didn't shut. This is perfect. It has more than enough of what I would need. A little thing of scissors, some nail clippers, some other nail things, some tweezers all together that will just like live with my travel stuff, you know? And then I just have my little case for my retainer. Here I've got nail glue in case one of my nails comes off. These are dip powder nails. That's pretty rare, but every once in a while, like if they were on a long time or I just hit it just so, they might pop off and I can use nail glue to just hold it on for the next couple days. It's pretty rare, but I'd rather have it and not need it. Got Aquaphor as my main lip balm. I also have another one of these I'll probably have in my carry-on because I use it all the time. Floss, this is so important, you guys. A little thing of safety pins. I literally just grabbed a bunch of different sizes, hooked them all to one safety pin so that I have them. You never know when you're gonna need it for the most random things and it's nice to just have a little thing of them. So then in this part, there's this extra part in the front I'm not really using, but you know, if you had something thin to stick in there, you could. I've got my like vitamins for the week. I kind of counted them out and put it in a little bit extra just in case. I have perfume. This is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. It's one of my absolute favorites. I have a little thing of self tanner. I actually have not self tanned in a while. I'm not totally certain I will for this trip. If I do, I have it in here. If I don't, I'll probably take it out before we leave. These are are the four items I'm taking for my hair. My favorite hairspray, the Bedhead Masterpiece, the Redken All Soft, it's like a leave-in conditioner. Cause even if I'm air drying my hair, I like putting this in it cause it just air dries a little less frizzy. Perk Up Dry Shampoo from Amika. I always bring a dry shampoo. And then the Dry Bar Prep Rally Detangler. I actually had a full size of this and I just refilled this bottle cause I'd used it up. These are like my four go-tos for travel. The dry shampoo brand gets switched up a lot, but the other brands pretty much stay the same. I'm messing up all my precious packing here, <laughs> but I have this little wet brush, like a small size I can use on my hair. I can also use on Genevieve's hair, which is nice. I've got an extra hand sanitizer. This fits in a little hand sanitizer like pouch thing I have. 
on my purse. I actually need to refill that one too, but definitely gonna have a backup of that. Got my toothbrush, toothpaste. This is my favorite, the Crest 3D White Stain Eraser. For body, I've got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I like this stuff because it's got colloidal oatmeal, so I get really itchy legs, <laughs> and this really helps. And then this I have, but I may just bring the full size of anyway. This is the SPF 50 Copper Tone Glow. It's one of my favorites. It is awesome that they make a travel size. But like I said, I have a glowy one. It's not even this brand, actually. A new one I'm trying that's full size. I'm like, well, I know I use a lot of it throughout the week we're there, so I might just bring the full size, we'll see. For skincare, I kept it very simple. The DHC Deep Cleansing Oil gets all my makeup off, and then I always go in with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I actually just refilled this. Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. It's a really nice eye cream, I like it. I have this Rosehip Oil from Good Molecules kind of as my serum for the week, and then I emptied out this Adaptogen you to the people cream and filled it with one I'm using from bliss. I'm not a huge fan of, but I'm trying to use it up. So I just filled it with that. And that is what I'm going to use as my moisturizer. I've got my razor and this little Steripod razor cover. How cool is that? I know I need to put my deodorant in here tomorrow after I get ready, but I think that's pretty much it toiletry wise. But I also always bring a claw clip. I use it when I'm like using my curling wand, which that's another thing. I don't bring my hair dryer, but I will bring my curling wand because they always have a decent hair dryer there. But I also always have a round brush. I swap out for travel this thin one from Spornet. It helps like kind of keep my hair. I'm keeping it away from the camera because if there's any hair in it, like that grosses me out. I always bring it because it helps keep my frizzy hair at bay. Anyway, that's all that's in there. Okay, a couple of things you might not think of, but that I highly recommend for pretty much any trip. Some of these are Disney specific, but not all of them are. So ponchos, definitely recommended. These are ones we bought in Disney and we just obviously reuse. They're just nice to have because it does rain so randomly. You can also use this as an impromptu stroller cover. I now have a really cute Disney rain jacket I'm gonna pack that I bought there that's got like Disney dogs all over it. So I might not bring my poncho and then Genevieve's got hers. So we might just be bringing the one for Tyler. But another thing masks I just kind of have mine in a makeup bag here for Disney it gets so hot you get so sweaty and gross we use the throwaway ones but I always bring a few regular ones I always have those and I just kind of wrangle them so they don't get all dirty within our bag two other things I highly recommend is I mean really just one thing a first aid kit of some kind this one I got on Amazon just filled myself I've got like anti-itch cream neosporin little band-aids all different sizes some gauze just all kinds of stuff like that Mylar Rescue Blanket is in there. You just never know. There's like a little kid vial for like giving medicine in case I forgot to pack it. So it's just nice to have and I love this convenient little pouch. But then this is also like other medicine. So you kind of label them how you want and put what you want in them. I've got some like Tums up here, things like that, some cold medicine if we need it. It's just nice to have. We almost always end up reaching into both of these every trip for something. So they're worthwhile to have. Whether you have kids or not, I think that's nice. Body Glide, listen, your thighs will chafe. <laughs> I don't care what size you are. I did not get into this until recently and it has been a lifesaver. So especially if you're wearing a dress all day long and walking all day, it is nice to have. It really does make a difference. I'll usually just put it in our park bag. I've tried a lot of fans in my day. This is our newest stroller fan. It lasts a really long time. We just charge it at night at the hotel and it's, it has like three speeds. You can wrap it on any part of the stroller. It's really strong. So that has been great. It's big, but it is worth taking because it's so hot, trust me. But then these are our newest discovery. We discovered thanks to my brother and my sister-in-law. These are these hand fans. You can get them on Amazon. They have three speeds and that alone feels really good, but you fill this with water, you know, every couple hours or so just at the water fountain it takes two seconds and you can have a mist coming out and it is the lightest mist and that plus the fan feels unbelievably amazing. So much better than the other fans we've tried. And then they have this clip if you want to, clip it because you can kind of do that and then clip it like on the stroller while you're pushing it. Game changer. So we have the stroller fan I want to keep on her at all times but then we have three of these because every time we would use them Genevieve wanted it so I'm like forget it we're just buying her one too so I've got to grab the other one but these are all charged up. I would also recommend an external hard drive of some kind for your phone. We're kind of overkill. We don't need both but this is a solar powered one that we can just hang on our stroller and it'll charge through the day so if we needed it we can have the cord, actually I need to grab, to charge our phones with that. 
But then this is like our big daddy. It's from Anchor, it's kind of pricey, but you can charge two devices at once. So we can charge one phone with the like cord that's in here. And then the other, if you have like the capability to do wireless charging, you can do that on there. So we typically like at a restaurant, we'll just set one phone on there, plug the other one in and let them charge up. It is awesome. And you know, for us, we vlog on our phones. Like that is typically what we use. And so it's nice to be able to charge them through the day because we do use them an obscene amount. Also ears, if you have them, these were sent to me by a lovely subscriber years ago. And I have no idea who it was and what brand it was. So let me know if that was you. These are the cutest Ratatouille ears. And we're gonna be there when the new Ratatouille ride opens. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to bring them, have to wear them. So that is going with me. I'm not sure about these. These I got on Etsy a while ago. I think I can link and I love them. I don't know if I'm gonna bring them though. I have a couple other ears I'm looking at, maybe bringing. I'm also thinking about just buying a new pair while we're there. The other thing is this hat. I love this denim Mickey hat. I bought it last time we were there and it's my favorite. And I end up wearing this more than ears just cause it doesn't hurt my head as bad as some ears do. And it keeps the sun out of my face. They have so many cute hats at Disney. They also have so many cute Disney hats on Etsy. Oh my gosh. Like I have to get myself off of Etsy because I would spend so much money on there. I already have. <laughs> anyway, so highly recommend a baseball cap if you like them of any kind. They're really nice to have in Disney. And cooling towels, how could I forget? We got these in Disney. They're not crazy overpriced, but they're certainly more expensive there than they would be just buying a multi-pack on Amazon of just plain ones. So that's certainly something to consider if you have the time to order it before you go. However, I also love Disney and I love that these have little Mickeys on it. So we have two of them and then we have another one from Amazon that actually I think my mother-in-law gave us that we'll bring as well. That way all three of us have one and yeah, these can be really nice. You just wet them at the water fountain, kind of wring them out and snap them. And they just feel so good for a little while. We just re-wet ours and so clutch to have. So here you've got a sneak peek of what is in my carry-on bag. I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two things. They'll get thrown in at the last minute, but this is generally what I have for any trip in our carry-on. So I'm packing my carry-on for both me and my daughter. So anything for like my husband, he would like, I don't have masks for him. He's gonna have that in his own carry-on. But what I have are some wet ones and some like regular white as well clutch to have I have my cords and chargers I'm probably not going to keep them in this what I typically do is just grab the one cord I'll probably need which would be my phone cord so that's probably what will come out and the rest of this will go in my actual checked bag but I didn't want to forget to mention to you you know and then I'll grab like the brick to go with it this bad boy is on Amazon and it is my favorite brick my husband has one too in black because it has two USB-C chargers and then two regular USB chargers and so this is is always what I travel with and I can charge most of our stuff. I, I can even charge my daughter's tablet with it. So I have my sunglasses. These are from Amazon and I love them. Wanted to mention them. And then this actual like little pouch you can use to clean the sunglasses. But I got a pack of like three on Amazon for really cheap too. I've got two masks for Genevieve, two masks for me. I've got the snacks I showed you for her. The only things I'm gonna have to put in my clear liquids bag is hand sanitizer, my lip balm, and then that. So I've got my Kindle, the book I'm currently reading. I've got, as I said, my lip balm, which is just Aquaphor, it's my favorite. And then this, I can just, there's like four little compartments I can put different pills in. I always have aspirin in here, and then I usually have Aleve for Tyler. And then a couple other things that we may need, it's just nice to have in there. I got another Amazon buy, baby. My AirPods, I've got an extra hair tie or two because that is always inevitably the thing I forget that I want while we're in the airport. So I like to have at least one extra in there. Another one of those little phone stands. Tissues, I've got a magic band. I actually have this little puck of a magic band as well that I typically stick on my watch band. There's like a little way to like loop it in. You can get these little holders on Etsy, but I like in case I forgot it to have another magic band. Plus sometimes I do actually wear it and this one's so cute. This is like a Tomorrowland one. Genevieve's headphones, these are ones that can be wireless, but then they also have a wire. So if we need to hook it through to like an aux jack, we can. I've got my iPad, I've got her tablet here. And then I just spent some time yesterday downloading different videos to that. So they're ready to go on the plane. And then I have two empty water bottles, one for her and then this one for me. This is the Hydro Flask. It's big, but you know what? This is really a clutch thing to have in the parks because we'll fill it before we head out and it will keep the water cold all day. And the last trip we went on, I didn't have anything like this. And so I was, we were constantly buying water bottles 
and that felt wasteful and also it was super expensive and you know the water wouldn't stay cold this keeps water cold forever so that is so nice to have i think that's everything that's in there holy moly so a couple of things i wanted to show you because that's we're nearing kind of the end but this is a newer purchase for me and it's going to be my carry-on so this is this vera bradley backpack but i really could not decide i was looking at all the patterns but i landed on this one because it's dark which means if it gets dirty it's not going to be super obvious and on top of that it's like water resistant or waterproof or something so that is nice i've had book bags that i really liked that i would have under and i would spill water or genevieve would spill something and it would get all over it or if someone else it was just gross you know so i like that this is dark i liked the pattern inside but it has plenty of pockets it has the separate thing in the back for like if you want to put your laptop or ipad it's another thing i do have to work a little bit on this trip like doing some thumbnails and making sure videos are getting uploaded so i probably will bring my laptop as well then a nice big area here for everything else plenty of room for all of this then i have the two cup holders on the side you call them cup holders i feel like you do for the two water bottles of ours it feels pretty comfy to wear. And the other thing I was looking for is one with a luggage strap. So I can slide this onto my hard sided like spinning suitcase and it'll stay on there. And it'll be hands free. A lot of times I bring a carry on that's just like a shoulder bag and I love them. And like, I was kind of sad because I'm like, there's some I use that I love, but it's just too difficult with a toddler I'm picking up. We're trying to fold a stroller. We're dealing with multiple bags. It's so much easier to have your hands free. So I'm pumped about that. Another bag I wanted to show you is one that I use as our park bag. So this is the only bag we bring in to the parks. How cute is this? It's from Petunia Pickle Bottom. Tyler brought it for me as a Mother's Day gift from Box Lunch, I wanna say, pretty recently. So it should still be available, but it's got this front pocket. It has two cup holders and then one large area with a zipper pocket there. I always have a magic band hanging from it that I can use. I don't know if they still sell these or not, but I love just having this because then I can, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We put some of the things you're seeing in the carry-on in here. I don't know that I've ever done like what's in my park bag type video. Maybe someday I will. I think throughout this video, you probably gleaned the things that I would be putting in here. Sunglasses for us, sunscreen, our water bottles, some snacks, hand sanitizers, extra masks, the wet wipes, like that's pretty much what's in there. By the way, in the carry-on, this is my wet bag and I already have my extra outfit in here if anything happens. My horror story is that one time we were traveling with Genevieve and she threw up on me minutes before the gate was gonna close and we were just about to get on the plane. And so luckily they were nice enough to let me like run to the bathroom. I luckily had a change of a shirt, but I didn't have a change of pants and I had to throw up on them the whole flight. Whew, it was rough y'all. So from then on, I'm like, I need an entire outfit change for both me and her, no matter what. And so, yeah, but I, isn't this bag pretty? Like this pattern, the colors, it's so pretty, but more than enough room. And honestly, what I might do is just take her extra outfit and put it in here too, instead of having two separate wet bags, now that I'm saying that out loud, but yeah. And then my suitcase that I use is an away suitcase. It's light pink. I kind of regret getting a light color because it was a really expensive purchase. And while I think the bag is super well made, but the light color just gets so dirty because I did buy a larger one with the intention of it being one that I always check. So that kind of makes it where I feel like I always have to clean it, but then I'm like, I'm not gonna clean my suitcase. Like it's just not gonna happen. So I kind of wish I'd gotten like black. So if I ever bought another nice suitcase, I would recommend a dark one for the same reasons. They just get so dirty. I feel like that can't possibly be everything. I know there's things I missed. Like I haven't packed my swimsuit and cover up yet. I don't know yet what I'm bringing. I have my little list here. I know a lot of you guys want me to share it with you, but honestly, it's so comically specific. I don't know that it would be helpful for some of you, you know? Oh, another thing we bring a lot of the time, I just saw my list, is a game. Like a pack of cards for us to play in the hotel room. And then also like... Okay, one of our favorite games is Bananagrams and it doesn't take up much room and it's fun. So that's an easy one for like a hotel game. And especially if you are going with kids, it's nice because you end up going back to your hotel maybe earlier than you would if you didn't have kids. And so that was something we have had to adjust to. And so with that came like, well, then let's order pizza and like, let's play games while she's sleeping, you know, that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend that. I know I didn't show my makeup in this video. That's because that is always the last thing I pack because if you've been around my channel, I love, I'm literally sitting next to my makeup collection. I just did a whole video on all the makeup I have. If you want to watch it, I will link it, but it's hard to pick like what I want to bring for this. And I'm not even sure what makeup bag I want to bring because I bought a new one, but I think it's too big, but I might share what makeup I brought in a future video. If you're interested, 
and or maybe I'll share it within one of the Disney vlogs. We'll see. Let me know below. Like if you'd want to see a dedicated video for what makeup I brought to Disney, I'd be glad to do that. Let me know if there is interest in it though. I did do that a few months ago with the makeup I brought when we went before. I did a whole video. So if you want to check that out, I will link it below because there's a part of me that's like, I just want to rewatch that and remember what I brought and just bring a lot of the same because I was pretty happy with my makeup for that trip. We'll see. But I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new, you like Disney or you like home vlogs, family life, makeup, whatever, I'd love if you subscribe and stuck around. Check out some of my other videos before you leave. I can link my vlogs playlist if you want to check some of them out. Kind of the same vibe of this except for you know, not packing, <laughs> just other stuff, you know, just like normal life stuff. Anyway, that is all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.